Hey, you wonderful people. How are you doing? I welcome you yet again to FM Update Show. My name is Felix Wanda. And my question is, what would happen if a former president in a country like Kenya is arrested? What would happen if Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta is arrested? That's the question. And so I want us to get to dive deep into this info and also in the guns too, lo looking at the facts from uh, different countries that also have undergone the same. And what would happen if really Uhuru Kenyatta is arrested? And not only Uhuru Kenyatta, what if also Raila Odinga was taken into custody? Allow me to elaborate on the reason why I'm bringing up this question. The reason I'm bringing up this question, it's because I've seen uh, what is happening right now in our country and mostly in the political arena. You will currently agree with me that the political arrests that have made recently in our country during the demonstrations, the government is heading somewhere and where they are heading is apprehending the people that are spearheading the Azimio La Umoja uh, movement and Azimio La Umoja demonstrations, where Uhuru Kenyatta is the chairman of Azimio La Umoja board, and Raila Odinga is the leader of Azimio La Umoja, and he is the one that spearheads the demonstrations in this country. Recently, they have arrested different people. Naming a few, they have arrested, uh, the first one to be arrested in regards to the recent demonstrations is Babu Wino, who yesterday was supposed to be free after he was given a bail by uh, the Milimani locals of 100,000 Kenyan shillings. But even before he left the Milimani locals, while the bail was being processed, the DCI officers at the Milimani locals rearrested Babu Wino and took him in. Another person that has recently been arrested is former Mungiki leader and former uh, Laikipia senatorial husband Maina Jenga, regarded as the chairman by many youths in the Mount Kenya region. Also, not leaving out, Kalonzo Musyuka was put under house arrest by the recent regime of William Ruto. Apart from that today, Uhuru Kenyatta's niece, Pauline Joroge, if you don't know, Pauline Joroge is a family member to Uhuru Kenyatta. She was arrested because she has been a blogger and a person working under the regime of Azimio La Umoja. She used to work for Uhuru Kenyatta's government, but when Ruto's government took over, they drew her out because they believed that she was a mole in Ruto's government for the Azimio La Umoja team. She has a massive following on social media, so her say and her post instigated different reactions all over the country. Apart from that, Raila Odinga has not been seen in public. Uhuru Kenyatta showed up yesterday, and the reason that he came out of his hideout is because he received information that police had raided his son's, the first, his son home, his first son, Jomo, Ken Jomo Kenyatta, home in Karen, was raided by the police where they came with a warrant to sack the premises, believing that Jomo was keeping an armory of weapons, sophisticated weapons. And also today, the Kikuyu member of parliament and also a great influential figure in the Mount Kenya politics. Now the current leader of majority in parliament, Kimani Ishumwa, called upon President William Ruto in a face-to-face -face, uh, gathering in public, told him now it's time for you to arrest Uhuru Kenyatta if he thinks he is a god or something. Moses Kuria called Uhuru Kenyatta a prince. Another move that reveals that the government is headed to arrest Uhuru Kenyatta is the removal and the withdrawal of 
the security of his mother, Mamangina Kenyatta, the first first lady of this nation. This security detail and the security officers guarding Mamangina Kenyatta, Uhuru said yesterday, the officers have been guarding his mother for over 50 years. So why come and withdraw them at night? And the question comes, what would happen if Uhuru Kenyatta is arrested? And what has the government and the Kenya Kwanza regime considered until making a move on Uhuru Kenyatta's arrest? The Kikuyu community is the largest uh, tribe in the country. The Mount Kenya community is the, 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 the it's a vote rich community. The Mount Kenya community comprises of Kikuyu, Embu, and Meru, and these communities combined. They all followed what their leader said, and their leader was Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. That's why when Uhuru Kenyatta called upon them to back him up together with the then Deputy President William Ruto, they did not hesitate. They followed the footsteps and chose Uhuru Kenyatta to become the president of the nation. For 10 years, him and his deputy, William Ruto, led the nation. Now, they parted ways after Ruto took over, and they keep their promises, because the reason why most Kikuyus during the 2022 general election voted against Israel Odinga, not that Israel Odinga was the bad influence or the bad character in the whole game of politics. It's because they made a promise, the Kikuyu community made a promise to William Ruto, kumi, kumi za uhuru na kumi za tutakupatia. That's what they said. And so they were ready to deliver. They don't fall back on their words. You even saw Uhuru Mwigai's own cousin, Kongo Mwigai, rallying behind William Ruto against the Kenyatta, the Kenyatta family will. Hmm. But there is a barrier and a, a, a line you don't cross with the Kikuyu community, going against their own. And they, they who believe he is their rightful leader who has been crowned by the elders to lead them. That is Uhuru Kenyatta because back in 2013, Uhuru Kenyatta was handed over the mantle to become the kingpin of the Kikuyu community. By Meshoki, right now they have anointed anyone, and they have anointed Gashagwa, no, they anointed any other leader. So if Uhuru is arrested, it won't be a matter of Ruto and Uhuru. It will be a matter of Ruto and the Kikuyus and the Luos, because right now the Luos have seen that Uhuru has been behind them, and Uhuru is their partner. So they will follow to the footsteps of Raila Odinga, calling upon the demonstrations that will sink this country in a hole if Uhuru Kenyatta is arrested. And you all know, once Kikuyus decide it's war, it's war. Once the people of Mount Kenya live with and about the Kikuyu, do you know about the Merus? Those people play with pangas like they, they are Kung Fu masters from China. They, they, if you want to fight with a Meru man, you give him a panga and he takes another panga and then we draw the battlefield. Let's meet and solve our problems. If I get out of there with one hand or one leg, then I've lost the battle. If we both get out of there with our, our, with single hearts, each of us, to metoka draw and we give each other respect. That's what happens. So imagine these people coming down to demonstrate because he is their leader. He has been arrested. I mean, I don't want to speak in mother tongue, but one thing is that Mount Kenya people follow and they do pledge their loyalty. Kimathi, when he led the Mau Mau, he had one agenda. 
to take back the land and to restore the unity upon his people. And Kemadi then called upon the Meru and the Hembu people and the Kikuyu to unite, and they did. Imagine then uniting people. Meru speak different language with Kikuyu, and the Hembu speak different language with Meru and Kikuyu. Uh, yeah. So imagine these people now coming, rallying behind this man, and they won't. Yes, the Kalajins too have their say, and they are fighters too. But when it comes to loyalty, the Kikuyu, I, I mean the Mount Kenya region people, mostly the Meru and the Kikuyu, and also the Luos. Have you seen the Luos, how they fight for Raila Odinga? Many say that Raila Odinga is not, a, the, the, the movement of Raila Odinga is not a political movement. It's a cult movement because of how these people follow him and believe in whatever he says. Yeah, and that's what's up. What else can I say? Tell me what do you think would happen in this country if Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta are arrested, as Kemani Shuma has requested, and also as Moses Kuri has requested the government to do? Leave a comment on the comment section. This is FM Update Show, and the FM Show, the Felix Wanda Show. My name is Felix Wanda. See you in the next one.